A Tulsa woman is doing all she can to save the monarchs, not the royals, the monarch butterflies that travel through northeastern Oklahoma twice a year as they migrate. This is her lifelong passion, and now she started a Facebook page where you can learn about Oklahoma's very important role in their migration and how to attract butterflies to your yard. Sandra Schwinn is tonight's Tell Me Something Good. Oh, oh, that's a Brazilian skipper. Butterflies have been a huge part of Sandra Schwinn's life for almost 40 years. This former teacher used caterpillars in her classroom. I had no idea what the caterpillar was going to become. But since then, she's become a bit of an expert. I branched out with other butterflies, um, too, about 40 species of butterflies and moss. Sandra says the first thing she did when she retired was build a butterfly oasis in her backyard. I actually built that garden stone by stone. She now uses her Facebook group, Oklahoma Friends of Monarchs, to help spread the word about their importance to the environment, their beauty, and Oklahoma's role in their migration. Monarchs are pollinators. If monarchs were gone, then there'd be a whole lot of other things gone too. And then we would be in big trouble. Sandra calls Northeast Oklahoma a Route 66 for butterfly migration. The monarchs migrate between Mexico and Canada, and very soon we'll start seeing them. Monarchs start coming back to Oklahoma and North Texas in late August. And now is the time to prepare. Sandra says to attract and help butterflies multiply, you'll need two types of plants in your yard host plants like milkweed. The monarch female has about 400 eggs and she needs to find milkweed. And if she can't find milkweed and get rid of those eggs, then the new generation can't start. And nectar plants to provide nutrition for butterflies to continue their migration. It's a very long journey. Some of them will travel over 2,000 miles just to get to Mexico. While some butterflies will only live a month in a beautiful setting like this, others are tasked with keeping the species alive. Monarchs that migrate can live up to nine months in the winter. That's a special super generation. Sandra says the number of monarchs is declining and she's worried, but she's finding hope as more and more people find her Facebook group to keep these beautiful creatures fluttering in the Oklahoma skies. We have a saying, if you plan it, they will come. And they will come. And I have to tell you that Karen told me about this Facebook group. This was really cool. I'm a member of that group. I love watching how passionate these folks are about their butterflies and the things. Some of them will drive clear across the state, right, to help mm -hmm. each other, help and the it, butterflies. Right. And right here in Green Country, this is the hot spot right here in Tulsa. So uh, we have a link to her Facebook page with this story on our website if you want to get some information about making a garden in your backyard. Of course, if you know somebody making the world a better place, tell me all about them. Send an email to mike.brooks at kgrh.com.